Hello guys, it's Foxworld, and today we're playing a more good quality of a Urkai Warrior with no metallic. So, first thing, thing I want to say, I am starting to use Army Painter Paints just to try them out, and I've been really liking them. So, I would like to show you how I paint this Urkai Warrior. So first, I would use this matte black, 100% matte, so that's going to be pretty nice. So. Paint this on the tire mini, or spray paint it, if you have it. Then after that, we will do it like 50% of the areas that is up with Neverland Black, or Cloak, I think. I think that's how you say it. I'm not certain. But just do like sort of 50% of the mini that is above. So half of the like chest piece, half of the shield, half of the... Each shoulder panel piece, and but it always has to be on the closest direction of this like highest spot. So after you get this, the fifty percent of the um, shield of this really dark gray or everywhere. Now you do fifty percent of that uh, very dark gray with this gray, or inform gray, I think you say. And now, and this time of it, I. Um, make two, um, not too thick of lines on the sword. And I will show you a picture of what that look like. This is how I did it. Um, I recommend you do a little more stippling than what I did. After that, now we do 50% of where you put this unformed um, gray with ash gray. This will be, um, just... 50% of where you had that on. So now you also go to the more sharper area of the sword for the uh, the highlight for the, uh, well, for the sword. So I will show a picture right now. So yeah, granted I do recommend stippling, but that's how I did in this one. There, yeah, this is a little more older video for me. <laughs> but yeah, do that. Now, finally, a edge highlight with the, the, uh, what is this, uh, matte white, what do you know? It's the exact same. So, yeah, this will be edge highlight, but not everywhere. You don't need to do this everywhere, but it could be areas that, um, don't actually have edges. So, for example, the chest piece right there, it still has something. So, go to the very sharpest areas you think it could be. It would be a really good spot for your highlights. This is where I thought it was. Next, we're now painting the skin and the boots of this miniature with dark stone. And it is a pretty nice paint. This is just to get the base on for it. This will be like the deepest, darkest color for this miniature. For the This is what it looks like kind of wet, but it should dry a little better. But yeah, this is what you should do. Just paint them. With this dark and the dark stone. We will work on the skin first. So this will be a 50-50 mix of uh, dark stone and dragon red. Which this will be in the higher areas. So for example, this is our example here. This is the higher areas I found. It looks pretty good. And it still looks pretty good on this miniature. I have to admit. Now we will go with a pure dragon red for the very highest parts of the skin. And I will give you a picture right now. There you go. Whoa. It's like I edited this. Whoa. <laughs> now we are going to do a highlight with the cloth, the leather now. So just get oak brown for the highlight. This will just be... Mostly in the outer edges of it, so not the, where the where the crotch is area is. So majority of it, the highlights will be on the back of the feet and the foot itself. Now, since of uh, uh, we've been doing this, we will now have monster brown as a edge highlight for the leather part. So just get your fine tip brush. And start doing a little edge highlight. Or if it's a very high point of the miniature, you can also do that as well. Which this one I did that for, it looks like. 
Now, since we still haven't painted the hair, granted the actual model itself is black usually, I use Elven Flesh for the base tone for the, the hair. So, just put that on your the hair of the miniature if they have it, and this is what it will look like. Now, we will do an edge highlight with this, well, dust moon, uh, moon dust. Dust moon? I don't know. Okay, but yeah, just you'll need to do every single strand of hair. Just do, like, the highest areas. Just put your brush um, in a sideways angle, and you should get it. If your Urukai is a Urukai warrior with shield, sword and shield, congratulations, you have finished your Urukai. He will be ready for the battlefield. And this is a little spinning spin. However, since this is not the only, like, variant, because there's always the wood parts, like the pikes and the bows and such, we will show you after this little spin. After, if your miniature is a one with a pike or a bow, this is the part you want to watch. So first, give this miniature a coat of oak brown. Just give the entire spear um, hole handle a oak brown. Now, after you get that dry, now... Paint it with monster brown, and this will be a highlight. So, it will be the direction of the miniature for this one, but sometimes it will be both sides. This is how I did Oh, wow, that's really on focus. But, you, you get it. So, where it's pointing, like, the easiest to see the light, that's where you want to do it. After that, we're almost done. We still have one more stage, though. It is Mummy Robes. This is a very light paint, so this is meant to look like wood has been chipping with this, so... So, some, just pick little random areas and put little lines or little dots there. Mostly, I recommend little lines, but do some mix of them. So, do a little bit of lines and a little bit of dots. And that's, for example, this miniature right here. I totally forgot I did that. <laughs> you can tell this is not professional. But that's how I did it. If you think you got a little too much on, like, if you want to have a little bit of shading with your wood, this is the only exception for this. We will use a soft tone for the entire wooden part of the whatever it is. This is what I did, and thank you for watching, and, and I hope you like this video. I hope you enjoy.